Hi students, let us continue with this uh, topic asymptotic notations. So in the previous video, I'll, I'll explain about the basic concept of the asymptotic notation. So why we using asymptotic and what is the analysis of it asymptotic. Now let us see the asymptotic growth. Actually the rate at which the function grows, you call it as asymptotic growth. The rate at which the function grows. The function grows means here we are adding the statements to that particular function. So that is decided by the, the rate at which the function grows. So here the growth rate meaning is growth rate. What is the growth rate here? The growth rate meaning the complexity of a function complexity of function and or or else or the amount of resource amount of resource it takes up to complete it takes up to compute so this you call it as a growth rate a growth rate is nothing but the amount of resource it takes to compute or the complexity the time it takes to uh, complete that function so it's completely about the time and the amount of resource means the memory that it's using so that you call it as a growth rate so asymptotic growth is nothing but is a rate at which the function is grows okay so there are three uh, whatever function you have taken given a differentiable functions f of n so a different functions all other functions will fall into any one of the asymptotic growths so what are the classifications of the growth let me write that classification of growth so grow the classification may be a three types growing with with the same rate going with the same rate okay so growing with a slower rate slower rate and growing with a faster rate so whatever the algorithm you have taken any algorithm so uh, that algorithm can be analyzed by using the asymptotic notations so that that the notation that we are going to be select is based upon uh, whatever the notation we are using that notation is uh, growing with same rate either it will grow with the same rate or grow with the slower rate or grow with the faster rate means whatever the functions we have taken this can be differentiated by using the function f of n and g of n. So, with the help of the functions uh, that are used in the program, okay, those functions can uh, grow with the same rate or grow with the slower rate or grow with the faster rate. So, here the rate is nothing but it is the meaning of complexity of function and the amount of resource it takes up to compute. Means the rate is the time and memory that it takes the uh, the all the functions that are used in the program may grow with the same rate. All the functions that are used in the program may grow with slower rate. All the functions that are used in the program may grow with the faster rate. Okay. So, the asymptotic growth, asymptotic growth creates a partition over the set of all differentiable functions. So, now coming to, uh, there are three different types of asymptotic notations. The three asymptotic notations are mostly used to represent the time complexity of an algorithm. Mostly used to represent time complexity of algorithm. So, the, there are main three types will be there. The three asymptotic notations are mostly used to represent the time complexity of algorithm. So, what are those three? The three are theta, theta notation, the 
बिग हो बिग ओ नोटेशन नेक्स्ट ओमेगा Omega notation. So these are the three main notations that are mostly used uh, in the computer to represent the time complexity of algorithm. So whatever the programming language you have taken to calculate the time complexity of the, of program, first you have to implement the algorithm for that program. So uh, for that algorithm, you have to calculate the time complexity. So those uh, uh, time complexity can be calculated by using these three any of these three notations: theta notation, big O notation, and omega notation. okay so here some functions you have to follow that i said growing with the same rate the growing with slower rate growing with the faster rates everything will uh, be uh, the slower and the faster will be decided by these notations okay so theta notation asymptotic here is asymptotic is always the theta will be uh, equality whatever the functions you have taken those it follows the equality function suppose if you take two functions f of n g of n so here the uh, equation is c1 g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 g of n okay here the c's are the constants and g of n is the uh, function that is compared with in this f of n function so this is a formula that you have to calculate for the theta notation so first here i'm uh, simply writing the formulas that you are using for that notations and afterwards whenever i explaining about these concepts i'll uh, make it with a graphical notation theta next is a big ho big ho notation so big o notation means here we use the asymptotic asymptotic is uh, for big o that should be less than so equality means it's nothing but the same rate growing rate is the same rate equality represents the same rate asymptotic less than means it should be slower rate so the growing rate should is the slower rate so the equation for this is f of n is less than or equal to c into g of n now coming to omega omega notation so for omega asymptotic is greater than so greater than is nothing but it's a faster rate the growing rate is the faster rate so for this f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n sorry c into g of n so these are the notations that are used for uh, to calculate the time complexity of an algorithm okay so now let us see one by one let us discuss one by one uh, each notations so first i'll explain about theta notation next big o and omega in the next video thank you